Kristen, I'm so happy you're here. It's so nice to meet you. Wait, so do you still live in like Newport? Because like, you're from Southern California, right? No, no, I live over born? like in Marine Del Rey area. Okay. Um, but you're a SoCal guy. I'm a SoCal kid. Yeah. I gotta stop because you got this My hair, hair right there. See, yep, this is looking yep. out. You see that? Yep, yep. That's love right there. <laughs> Thank you for not letting me look crazy out here. Well, you have a lot going on. Midnight Texas. Congratulations. Midnight Texas. Thank you. Ah! 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 So talk to me about Joe Strong a little bit. Joe Strong is an a, a fallen angel. He's fallen because he left the fold because he fell in love with the demon. Midnight Texas is this little small crossroads town where a group of supernatural entities mm -hmm. have gathered because the world's bigoted, uh, unforgiving, and, and judgmental and harsh. Right. We just want to be left to our own selves, let's right. be. And no one will leave us be. Of course. And it's <laughs> fun for me because like stories I think are best when they come with a little allegory. So right. this one's fun because it's viscerally entertaining. We got a witch, we got a female assassin, we got a psychic, yeah. angels, demons, vampires. But there also is like heart and story and it speaks to things like being an outsider and mm. being treated like you're, you know, disenfranchised. Only we can do something about it. Mm. Like blast you with some like energy. <laughs> And if you feel the same way, it's like, oh, okay, I, I don't feel alone, which is which, which is so important. Yeah. Because especially times right now, you want to feel like you can connect to something. Yeah, and especially when you've got so many people mongering the fear and the separatistness and whatnot, to have a conversation that says everybody deserves to find space, mm. I think that's where story really, it's not just for entertainment, but to create that notion in us that, mm -hmm. oh, I may not be in the right conversation, but there is one out there for me. Mm. Okay, so I want to take it back a little bit because you know we all loved you as Smith. Hey, welcome to Rock. Hello. Do you get bothered that, you know, you get asked it, like I'm asking you about it? No. Okay, no. that makes me happy. Very much no. Uh, my favorite is when the boyfriends. Yeah. She made me watch it. <laughs> really good though. Because <laughs> <laughs> there are people out there who get mad when you talk about their past accolades or whatnot. But yeah, I'm, glad I that, I'm glad that you're cool with it. I thought Sex in a City for so many of us loved it, but to, you know, we discovered you there and yes. <laughs> uh, saw a lot of things. What, were those scenes awkward when the sex scenes? No, totally normal. <laughs> yeah. Now, when we get going, make sure to say, Samantha Jones, you are one hot piece of <laughs> But I always was wondering, is there tape covering? There was a lot, of, I had some serious double stick moments, man. In summer, sometimes would be happening, and you're like, I'll be right there. Just, and you got this piece of fabric about that big, yeah, yeah. And you weren't nervous at all? No, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on. I was yeah. in there like in full panic. I feel like I would be terrified something's going to fall out. But what an interesting thing to have to uh, like deal with. Like right. in terms, because in the end, we're all just a construct of our ego. And what we hold precious is usually where we're most uh, willing to fall down or be attacked. Facts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. To like have to deal with all that right up front and go, all right, I guess you can't take yourself too seriously, my friend. <laughs> you know? Just let it all yeah. out. Live your whole life. Yeah, yeah, you better laugh at yourself. Do you miss New York and filming in New York? I love New York. Um, but you love this weather. It's okay. No, I mean, I've I'm, I'm, always been a creature of many different things. I need a little bit of city. I need dirt. I find it harder now to live in New York City because of the lack of light and too much concrete. Mm. But I love the stimulation and the conversations and the mix of, of, of ideologies that you find there. That said, I liked New York when it was dirty and gritty and I had to carry a knife in my pocket oh when my I was God. a kid. No, you didn't, Chase. Oh, yeah, I go down in Alphabet City and you come out at 3 o'clock, you're like, yo, what you doing around here? I never had to pull it out. I'll tell you the one time I pulled it out. When? A big-ass rat, and I <laughs> ran across the... <laughs> <laughs> but it, only for the rat. Yeah. Only I never that. used it, but it was like, it made me feel comfortable knowing <laughs> I had it in my pocket. <laughs> That's the New York I yeah. <laughs> Welcome to New York. Yeah. Jason, thank you so much for stopping by. What a joy, you're awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Thank no, you. seriously, and have fun on your vacation because you deserve it. I don't go, I think I will. Yeah, yeah, you will. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jason. What a pleasure.